to News Busted. I'm Jody Miller. Let's get started. This week marks the end of President Obama's first 100 days in office. And I gotta say, other than running up the biggest deficit in history, kissing up to dictators, letting tax cuts expire, labeling veterans as possible terrorists, and apologizing for America all over the globe, he's done a pretty good job. <laughs> CNN will mark Obama's 100th day in office with primetime coverage celebrating his presidency, preempting its regularly scheduled programming. Wait, I thought that is CNN's regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> After releasing a series of bush era so-called torture memos, President Obama visited CIA headquarters last week to see if there's any more embarrassing stuff he may have forgotten to release to the press. <laughs> An article at Politico.com referred to Barack Obama as, quote, America's first hip president. <laughs> yeah, dude, because that's, like, so cool how he, like, totally doubled the deficit and how it's going to be, like, totally rad paying it off for the, like, next 50 years. <laughs> Discount airline Airtran will start flying from Florida to Cuba. However, they will limit customers to one stowaway passenger each in the overhead compartment on the return flight. <laughs> Scientists are working on a new technology that allows laser light to transmit messages to the other side of the globe. If perfected, it will allow President Obama to apologize for America without leaving his desk. <laughs> the Cleveland Cavaliers' Mike Brown was named NBA Coach of the Year. Yeah, because only a genius could come up with the brilliant strategy of give LeBron the ball and get the hell out of the way. <laughs> and finally, Mia Farrow is going on a 21-day hunger strike to protest the genocide in Darfur. And in a sign of solidarity, Rosie O'Donnell has decided to have only six Pop-Tarts for breakfast. <laughs> Thanks for watching News Busted, everybody. I'm Jody Miller. Make sure to tell your friends about us. We'll catch you next time.